Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can install Ubuntu on your PC on VirtualBox so, so without affecting the Windows itself, the base Windows or the base operating system that you have so this is a virtual virtual system so let's get started so the first thing that we need to do is to go to our browser and open this website link this will be in, linked in the description below virtualbox.org and then here you will go here to downloads and here we will click here the one the platform that you use so i use windows so i'm gonna click on this windows hosts and now as you can see it downloads and then we just click here and click on download and verified file so i'm just gonna so i'm just gonna delete this from because i already have this and already have installed the virtual box so then the next thing that we need is ubuntu iso file so here when you're on this website as well i will be in the description it will be in the description below here click on download and here click on get ubuntu desktop and then from here we're gonna scroll down and now you can select this one or you can select this one so this is the latest version of ubuntu as you can see here so these are the requirements so i'm gonna click on this one so if it doesn't automatically start downloading then you can go here on download here download now and it will start downloading if for some reason it doesn't start automatically so i'm gonna cancel this because i already have this file so i'm gonna close now this we can close our browser and now after you install you have to install the virtual box so after you install the virtual box then you will be greeted with this this window so let's get started so the first thing that we need to do here is to go to here to new this new so here we put the ubuntu or the system name so so this is the second in folder here this is where the the system will be installed so as you can see and see users your name and virtualbox vms and here we're gonna cha change and search for our our iso image so i'm gonna click on this and click on other here and now we're gonna ch choose the ISO file, our ISO file. So my ISO file is here and I click on open. And then after that, we just click on this skip unintended installation. And then we click on skip on next. And then for here, we're gonna choose our base memory. This is the RAM memory. I suggested to go more like this, more like four gigabytes. You can set it on four gigabytes or you can set it a little bit higher it depends how much ram you have if you have only four rams then use four rams if you have like eight then again you can choose five six or how much i have 12 so i'm gonna choose about here five thousand but we can go a little bit higher i can go a little bit higher to eight let's let's go to eight gigabytes and here processors we can choose from our processor here i'm gonna choose two cores like i'm gonna choose three cores actually like this and click on next so here we choose the size so i'm gonna go for about 100 100 gigabytes and that should be enough and then we go next and click on finish this one and then here we go and click here on you can double click here on click here and start it doesn't matter click here and start and it should start powering up powering up the system and here we can close this we can exit out we can put here on the maximum screen and then here we can go with with the up and down arrows we can control so we go to install the try or install ubuntu try or install ubuntu and then here we're gonna click on enter so we can enter the setup if you enjoyed this video so far and you like the content of this channel don't forget to subscribe thank you and then here we're gonna 
choose our language here. So I'm going to go with English. So here we have try Ubuntu or install. So I'm going to go with install Ubuntu. So I'm clicking on install Ubuntu. And here again, we can choose the keyboard. Let's click on continue here. And here we're going to go for normal installation. And now we can check this if you want. And we click on continue. And here, this will delete all our programs. So we go to install now. So we don't have anything on this, this virtual hard disk. And then here we click on continue. And here we're going to type our name here. And then um, we will choose a password. So you have to choose a password. So I'm going to go with this one. So a random password and then we click on continue. And now it's going to start installing the Ubuntu. So we have to be patient and wait for this to finish. Then here we are prompted to restart your PC. So we click on restart. And now here we have to press on enter. So we press on enter when it says that. So it can continue to install the system. So make sure you wait till, till it loads up. So here we press on our account name. Press on it. And here we're going to type our password that we set before when we installed and we press on enter and now here we're gonna press on skip this one you can set up if you want but i'm gonna go skip for now so i'm just gonna go no don't send system info and we click on next and here we click on done and there we go we are now in ubuntu so we can use it now from here we go after you install the Ubuntu, then we go here to devices here and click on this insert guest edition system CD image. We need to do this so we have the full function of the system. And then we're gonna click on this this folder files here. So click on it, and then here we go to this V box, this one, and then we right click on it here and click on open in terminal and now when you're in this terminal we just type in ls and press on enter and now we're gonna copy this this one that we need is this one linux this one that run so we copy this that run so just highlight it and then copy and then here we're gonna we're gonna type sudo like this, then space dot forward slash and paste and press on enter. And now it tells us to type in the password. So we type the password and press on enter. And there we go. Now it starts verifying the archive and install the all the drivers needed for to fix the resolution of the virtual box because if you don't do this you your resolution will be small and you will not be able to use the full screen resolution and that's pretty much it as you can see the resolution change so we close this and we close this and we right click here display settings And then here resolution and we put to our maximum resolution that our monitor support and as you can see it is full screen right now keep changes and there we go it is full screen so now you can use it in full screen and go here to view and click on full screen and you are in full screen and then to exit just go to this and click on this so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. This is how you completely, this is a complete guide to how you can install the Ubuntu. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos and see you in the next video. Bye.